Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at problem number 844 that is backspace string compare. But before we begin with the solution, let me remind you of the Edignite NGO Discord server that has been created by Prince Verma sir and alumni of Edignite NGO. Over here, you can ask doubts and discuss several topics related to IT. Additionally, sir will also post some important content and some useful updates from the topics related to the same theme. Yes, you will get all the lead code solutions with the video link right over here over this particular Discord server. So, what are you waiting for? Join this particular Discord server from the link given in the description below right away. And yes, share this link with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation. Now coming back to backspace string compare. I have copied the question. Okay, I have copied the question as usual and let us move to the whiteboard. Okay, so we are, we are given two strings S and T. Okay, we need to return true if they are equal both equal when both are typed into empty text editor editors okay so here hash means a backspace character okay so over here if i have s as a b hash and c so it will be a b hash c so if it is written in empty text editor then it will be a then b then as it is a hash so we need to remove b okay we need to remove P and then we need to type C. Okay. And similarly for T, it will be A C. Okay. Now are they both equal? Are both of these strings equal? Yes, they are equal. So we will return true. Otherwise, we would have returned false. Okay. So this is a, this is a very simple question. So I will directly jump over to the pseudocode. What we will do? We will first uh, keep all the things. We will keep one by one. We will keep all the characters into a stack. And as soon as we we come across the hash sign or the backspace character, we will pop off the topmost element from the stack. Okay. So let me just uh, declare two stacks okay let me just declare two stacks that is str1 okay i will have str1 and str2 str1 comma str2 now i will directly write the pseudo code for str1 okay so i will just write for i okay for i from for i for i from i from oops sorry for i from 0 0 to s dot size for i from 0 to s dot size the all the characters of s will be stored in str1 and of t will be stored in str2 okay so what we need to do we need to have we need to check for a condition okay if s of i s of i a single character s of i is equal to hash if it's equal to hash then we need to we need to then also we need to check that is str empty if str is not empty then only pop the element otherwise don't pop off the element okay if str is not e m p t y e m y okay if str1 is not empty if it's not empty then str1 dot pop i will just write str1 dot pop i will not write the whole function that is pop back pop back as it is a pseudo code okay so here we have given the condition else okay if uh, there is any other character other than hash sign we need to push it okay so we will just write str1 dot push str1 dot push and over here we will write s of i okay s of i we will have a similar code for t okay so just to save the time i mean i am just writing similar code for t similar code code for oops sorry for t and 
str to t and str to similar code for t and str to okay now let us move to the checking part okay how we will check so over here we will just do one thing okay we will uh, we will have a while loop okay why while both the both the stacks aren't empty okay so we will write while while not str1 str1 dot empty empty str1 dot empty and okay and str2 none of them should be empty okay run the loop until both of them are empty okay so whoops sorry and over here let me just uh, erase it okay okay so let, let me just type str1 dot empty and str2 dot empty okay now let us check for the condition okay let us check for the condition if str1 dot back if str1 dot back okay so if the topmost element of str1 is not equal to is if it's not equal to the topmost element of str2 okay it is not equal to the topmost element of str2 then then we need to return at that point of time only we need to return false okay at that point of time only we need to return false okay otherwise what we need to do is we need to pop off the elements the topmost elements from both the stacks okay from both the stacks so str1 dot pop and str2 str2 dot 2 dot pop str1 dot pop and str2 dot pop okay after popping off all the elements all the elements if the sizes of both the strings are unequal then one of the one of the stack will get emptied first and the while loop will stop okay so for the condition to be true or for both the strings to be equal both of them after after the the termination of while loop should be empty okay so what we need to return we need to return okay we we need to return str1 dot empty and str2 dot empty okay str1 dot empty empty and str2 dot empty and str2 if any one of them or if both of them aren't empty then they aren't equal so the the function will return false okay so we'll need to return str2 dot empty okay so this is the whole pseudocode this is the whole pseudocode for backspace string compare now let us move to the lead code and write our solution okay so over here over here we need to create a vector okay a vector of character a vector of character that is str1 comma str2 str1 and str2 now we will have a for loop for s okay so for int i equal to 0 i less than i less than i less than s dot size i less than s dot size i plus plus i plus plus okay i less than s dot size i plus plus now let me just write if s of i s of i is equal to equal to if s of i is equal to equal to hash sign okay if it's equal to hash then we need to check if the the string okay if str1 is not empty okay there is no point of popping okay running a pop operation over an empty stack okay so we need to remember we need to write this condition if str1 is not empty is not empty then str1 dot pop underscore bsk pop back okay str1 dot pop back now let me hit enter and write the else part okay so this is the conditional statement else okay 
else what we need to do is tr one dot push str one dot pushback push pushback s of i okay str one dot pushback s of i so this is the whole code for for string one storing the elements of s into string one okay now let me just copy this code and let me paste it over here okay as the code is similar so we need to make only some tiny changes okay over here it will be t of i not equal to hash here it will be str2 str2 dot empty here it will be str2 okay and over here it will be t of i and over here it will be str okay so i think we have made all the changes and now we need to check we need to check for the condition okay we need to check for the equality of str1 and str2 so while we will write not str1 str1 dot empty empty Oops, sorry empty okay and and so we will have m percent m percent and str2 str2 dot empty empty okay while both the strings aren't empty while both the strings aren't empty run the while okay now we will write if str2 str1 str1 dot back 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 the topmost element of str1 is not equal to the topmost element of str2 then then what we need to then we need to return return false then we need to return false okay and if it's if it's true then we need to pop it off okay if it's uh, like if str1 dot back is equal to equal to str2 dot back then we need to pop off pop them off okay so pop underscore back pop underscore b a c k back okay and over here str2 dot pop pop underscore back pop underscore back okay so here we have done both the things okay here we have popped off both the elements and now the last return statement okay so for for strings to be equal both of them okay both of them at last should be empty str1 dot empty empty okay and and str2 str2 dot empty okay empty let me write empty it's empty okay so we have written the whole code let us run the code and check if this works okay so it's accepted now let us submit the code and let us see if it works and yes it's a success so this was about backspace string compare problem in lead code that's it for this particular session. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you everyone.